Who is Kay Coneal? I'm a regular man that... And why do some feel he's potentially Jamaica's next international breakout artist? Kay Coneal will be here to tell us. Girl, I'm so... Welcome back. Our guest in this segment is said to be following in the footsteps of artists like Cranium. Baby. Both in terms of their blend of R&B and dancehall. Right. And seeking the all-important break from offshore Jamaica. Born in Montego Bay, Jamaica, but now based in New York City, he comes to our stage right now with this song behind his bus. His name is Kay Coneal, right now, right here on our stage. Kay Coneal. Yes, sir. Bless sir, <laughs> good to have you. Good to be here. Welcome. Thank welcome, you, thank welcome, you, thank welcome. you. So, so, okay, do you share those sentiments? Yes. That you are the, potentially, the next international Jamaican breakout? That's, that's what I would like to happen, yes. That's what I'm working towards. Okay, so you're, you're, fixed on, you're fixated on that. That's yes, your goal, right? that's the goal. So where are you in terms of achieving that? Well, right now, you know, the buzz is, as you said, you know, the buzz is really nice. I have a nice buzz in New York City. Trying to get the awareness in, in Jamaica as well. Um, putting out the single I just put out, Feel So Right. Yes. It's getting rotation in New York City, and the, the feedback has been really, really good. So it's... So it's climbing. It's, it's moving. It's, it's moving. It's moving upwards, which is which is the goal. You know. Okay. It's it's definitely building. All right. So because let's just not keep our our viewers in any more suspense. Yeah. Let them hear you first. Then we talk more. Let's go. for that? Feels so right. Feels so right. Uh, yeah. so that's a feeling right the song and I <laughs> hope it is now we, it will now pick up yeah, and definitely. start sailing. Well definitely being on, on stage. Oh yeah. Uh, well, we're <laughs> sending it to you. You take it and run with it. It's a good song. It's a, so talk about the, the, uh, the references. So. Yeah the reference it's well Jamaicans are gonna reference it to Lady Song mm -hmm. but the the original reference is Groove Therapy Theory. Right, okay. That's that's the original reference. So Lady Saw made it big with her song. So, you know, it just it just felt right for the song and you know it's something that people are familiar with. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so how how did it get here? What did it take to get here where you are? Uh, consistency, hard work. I mean I've been been doing music for a long time. I've been recording for about eight years. Put out my first song about four years ago. Um, but the singles, all the singles I put out before this this, this single and my EP, which I released recently, Love Lust, um, which did really well on, on Billboard and, and iTunes reggae charts. I um, actually did, um, was number 20 on the Billboard reggae charts and number 10 on iTunes reggae charts. You know, that kind of started the whole buzz, but it's been consistency. I've been working really hard, putting out consistent music. I'm doing a lot of shows in New York City and Florida, and I've, you know, all those have been met well. The reception has been great um, and just been, you know, as they call it, the grind of networking with the DJs in New York City, Jamaica, you know, aligning myself with different producers and stuff like that. So it's all about, it's just been hard work. That's what it's been. So your genre is reggae? Are you a reggae artist? I wouldn't say I'm a reggae artist. I'm a recording artist. So it's, it's I do reggae. I like reggae. I love reggae music. I love dancehall music. I love pop. I love, I love R&B. So it's, it's everything. I do whatever music. I like to go in the studio and just create. All right, to talk more about um, the, the journey to here, where, where did you pick up uh, the talent? When? At what stage of your life? I've been singing since I was like two years old. I started singing in, in church. I was born and raised in Montego Bay, mm -hmm. Granville. You know, I, I grew up in a singing family. All my uncles sang. Mm -hmm. They had a group. So I used to go to church with my uncles and my grandma, and I started singing. I used to follow my uncles and sing. Okay. I remember singing in church, and they used to tell me to go up here and stay straight there. And you know, so the singing started there, and I went to, to school, and I started singing in school, and just kept going and going into college, kept singing. It, the singing was always there. When did you migrate to the U.S.? I migrated to the U.S. after I left Cornwall. I left okay. Cornwall College. Um, 
Yeah, I was 15, and I went to went to the States for college. You have a, b a bachelor? I have a bachelor in finance. In finance? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so did you actually work in, in finance? Yeah, definitely, yeah, I did. I did some work. I worked with um, a couple different banks. I worked with Fleet Bank and some other banks. So the eight years that you had been at it, mm -hmm. searching for the break in music, yeah. you were working? Yeah, I was working, definitely working. Are you still working? No, not right now. <laughs> it's full time now. Yeah, it's full time yeah. for how long now? For the past two years. Mm -hmm. I've been, first single was out four years ago, and two years now I've been full time music. Okay, great. So, family, go back to family and mm -hmm. Jamaica. Where yeah. is Jamaica? What is Jamaica to you now? Is it still home in your mind? My immediate family is in New York City. Mm -hmm. All my family, but my, I still have uncles here and, you know, auxiliary family. So, New York City is home to me. You know, Jamaica is where I'm from, and I love Jamaica, and I'm here all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank yes, you sir. so much for coming Thank and sharing with me. us right here on stage. And we'll be tracking you. Please do. Okay, <laughs> and when next you come, if we can get you that time. No, no, no I'll be here. No, but definitely. We hope that we'll be talking about... This, this is a big achievement. For This is a big achievement. Being on stage right now, talking to you right now, yes. is a big deal for me. Is that, is that it's a step? It's a big step. Okay. It's well, a huge step. Well, we hope it will <laughs> propel you further, sir. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's our pleasure to have you. Thank you. All right, there you have it right here on stage. K. Connell, our guest in this segment. Stay with us. Still to come right here on stage. Meet Ellie Trump, the young man who is in the middle.